Hello there. My name is Dave Crenshaw. Uptown, they call me Coach Dave. I organize sports for my community. I specialize in beginners and girls. I am proud to be a Title IX coach. We were planning and preparing for our 25th anniversary. COVID-19 wrecked that. First, it shut down my gym and my track. Then it started stealing people. Three members in my direct family, members in my church, neighbors in my building, including my super, who was so good to my family. I was told to hibernate and hunker down. I was told to stay in. And then the thief stole my Hunter High School classmate, Captain Cool, now known as Reverend Craig. Every day, somebody I loved lost someone they loved. So we pivoted from doing community sports to doing community supports. I had my 95 mask and I could hear my brother telling me, you should help all not just your team dreamers. So we started working with the food pantries and helped get food to seniors and families having hard times. Black Health heard about us and we formed a great partnership. We started giving our PPE and info. We worked in the neighborhoods that were left out. And finally the vaccine came out. My professor, Dr. Robert Fully Love said, I'm taking it first, and you better get it as soon as you can. Black Health gave me 15 slots for the next day. I went through my building and signed up all the seniors. They were so happy. Two years later, they are still here, healthy, happy, and always ready to cook a meal for me. We worked with the Washington Heights Armory to get seniors back and forth there for their appointments. This was the greatest way to slow down the thief by getting people vaccinated. We became masters at finding appointments and then letting people know where the vaccines vans were. Soon, we were blessed with our own vaccine vans through Black Health. We made sure people got their shots, their incentives, and most of all were treated correct. The thief treated Uptown horrible. Working together, we were able to slow it down. A lot of people seem to think the pandemic is over. It's not over in my neighborhood. I'm determined to keep fighting so that I can watch my community family, my friends, and all my loved ones raise their kids and cheer their grandchildren at Team Dreamer Activities.